Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. This past week, Shervon released two new mid-torque impact wrenches to the market, the first being this Flex with its crazy high torque specs, which is no surprise as the brand is famous lately for pulling a Babe Ruth and pointing at the grandstands with each at-bat calling out major brands like Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Makita. So we're definitely going to see how the best of those stack up against it. And the new mid-torque under Shervon's more DIY-friendly brand, Skill. With its cool features and intimidating overall size, we're curious what kind of power it packs. Now this skill I didn't even know had come out, not an easy thing to do to a channel like us, but Eric the Bearded Tool Guy did, and that's how we have both of these new impacts, thanks to him. Our flex mid-torque was still on order with continued delays, and Eric also had the skill I'd never seen, so boom, we got both here, thanks to him. Big shout out to Eric. So this is the new flex 24 volt mid-torque FX1451-Z, and it's interesting for a few reasons. One, when I first saw an image of it, it looked a bit like a little missile silo and hard to get an idea of those proportions, but it showed up smaller than I pictured in my head. And next to our yardstick, the shortest mid torque on the market, the M18, sure it's a bit more bulbous in spots, but really similar size and length. The flex measures six and a quarter inches and the Milwaukee six inches. But in the specs, there's a larger gap, 550, 650 torque for the red tool and 600, 750 nut busting for the flex. So it's roping itself in with the big dogs here. The only other two mid torques to come close to that and exceed those specs is the Makita XGT at 560 tightening and 810 nut busting with the DeWalt DCF 891 coming in with 600 and 800. And this DeWalt is just far and away king of the hill at the moment, so that makes sense. And the XGT, that's 350 bucks bare. And noticeably bigger, these tools are at 6.7 and 6.9 inches for the newest DeWalt, which that yellow tool is also going for 230, making both bigger and both more expensive, much more expensive in the Makita's case than the new Flex, which is coming in at 199.99. It's been a while since we've seen a mid-torque from a top brand not well into the 200s, so that's a welcome surprise, assuming it delivers on those specs. Flex High Torque didn't exactly blow our skirt up all that much, not that its specs implied it would, but it's very much a sort of middle of the pack, low vibration, which is nice, but not chart topping high torque that provided an option to their new line, but nothing to really blow you away. To perhaps help change that, if we see similar okay performance today, Flex has since introduced stacked lithium batteries that you can even buy with this tool in a kit. And something we noticed only this week is stacked lithium batteries has two positive and two negative terminals to help spread that high wattage discharge over more connections. These locations are empty on our regular five amp hour. And this new Flex, despite its size, was designed with stacked lithium in mind to slip into those extra terminals. Not something we've seen mentioned before and made us even more anxious to see what it can do with all those extras. So let's find out. Our first test is called Working Torque, five seconds and forward. Here's what the XGT Makita looks like versus the by far top ranked DeWalt and best performing M18 mid torque, which is their 382960, all using the same battery capacity. And here's the new Flex. Three hundred and ninety-five, looking pretty good so far, and that's with the five amp-hour battery. Here's what a six amp-hour stack lithium does for this one in black on screen. Four hundred and six foot-pounds this time. Looks very good so far for this new flex, and also looking to make a dent in our standings. And new from Shervon, who make flex as well, is this skill IW five seven six one B. 20 volt mid torque, and right away you'll notice it's got some pretty sweet lighting. The Ingersoll Rand style ring light around the nose, much like their right angle impact driver we found to maybe be the best one on the market, it's again found in this new model. And in case you haven't noticed already, she's also a big girl. Probably the largest modern brushless mid torque I've ever seen. This is like how big mid torques used to be back in the day when they were brushed, but with 2023 brushless insides. So you'd hope it brings some sauce. It advertises 480 foot pounds tightening, so okay, but 800 and reversed in that nut busting direction. 
But the coolest thing about this model, in my opinion, is that it's 130 bucks. So you're not gonna find too much out there for 130 with these kinds of specs that I've seen. But yeah, it's big. They say 7.97 inches long, but eight inch calipers don't fit over it. It's more like 8.05 inches long or so. And another shape you just don't often see, Shervon really taking the load less traveled on these models. So let's see how it does in our first test in light red on screen. Okay, 359, but it also has a much larger hammer inside than most of these, so it has less impacts per minute, which should help for longer tests where each impact makes more of a difference on harder to move stuff like you might be tackling from second one in your case. Let's check out that. Here's the skill in our 10 second reverse max torque test up against the DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita that are nearly two to three times the price. Okay, so just beating a Milwaukee, not terrible, but not great. Oh, and that was just this one's high speed mode. There's also a nut busting mode. So while we're not breaking a fast or free here because of measurements, but hey, if it's got more beans, I wanna know it. Let's see it on screen in black. Five hundred and twelve foot pounds up from four hundred and twenty that you can still see on the curve, and topping both the M eighteen and forty volt max XGT here for one hundred and thirty dollars. That's pretty spicy. Let's not forget about that much smaller flex though. Let's see if calling out all these brand names was a mistake. Five hundred and seven, just under the also powerful but much larger skill. There's a couple interesting things using this impact compared to most. One is out the gate, the first one to one and a half seconds, this tool feels like it's in turbo mode. That mode that Flex uses on some other tools. It's like excessively high RPM and then it steps down. And you can see this on the graph, it just comes out of the hole super hard. I feel when you're using an impact and most things are not starting at zero torque like they are here, that sort of thing helps a lot. Just zipping off decently tight nuts and bolts one after the other like lug nuts. Another thing is despite the advertising of vibration suppression, it feels pretty lively in the hand. Like more than even the Makita in the Milwaukee and maybe less than that DeWalt. Their high torque had a shock shield floating head design that removed a lot of that felt vibration. Not sure if this is a similar design, but at best we feel it brings it back down to just above where most mid torques are already in that rocky feeling. I'd say it's worth it though, as it's not crazy by any means. And this impact brings the sauce as you're seeing here with the stack lithium able to bump this run up to 520 foot pounds. Some nice gains on the curve, but not night and day on the end there either. Our last test is 15 seconds, best case scenario with batteries fresh off the charger showing their best runs, something the Makita XGT very much liked in this test. Let's see what the skill can do in its busting mode. Five hundred and fifty-five foot-pounds. Ultimately, the XGT was eventually able to come out ahead, but a good showing from the twenty-volt skill on the day altogether. I feel it's certainly powerful. Here's the new flex. Five hundred fifty-eight coming out hot again, somehow beating its larger skill cousin, but just barely not able to put a difference on and over that XGT Makita, at least with those cylindrical cell battery packs. Here's how the stacked lithium pouch cell did in its last test. Five 
576 foot pounds. Able to topple Team Teal here with a massive showing. 576 is pretty crazy for this thing. Of course, some of those other brands have fancy pouch cells as well and crazy batteries too. Here's the stacked lithium flex versus the DeWalt in Milwaukee again. That Milwaukee now is using an HD 12.0 here simply to see how much of this gap it can close considering they don't offer pouch cells. And there you have it. On the compact size of things, the Flex is looking like the new king, with the DeWalt being in a sort of any size of mid-torque. Yeah, that one's a monster. Let's see how the rank chart scores these. With the yellow, teal, and red brands listed in this order for now to see how it does, the Flex's runs with the same 5 amp hour battery as these earn 40, 51, and 56 points. Super impressive. That's upped a bit, maybe not as much as we expected, with our 6 amp hour stack lithium pack, which we'll score its power with coming up, but we simply didn't know until seeing it this week that they were going to bundle this with a 3.5 amp hour stack lithium that we don't currently own yet. But when we're talking about the amount of torque this makes as a function of where you can fit it, that's 89.3 foot pounds per inch, another incredibly good scoring here. They advertised the tool can make as much as 600 foot pounds in tightening. We made as much as 96% of that today, 96 points. $200 ain't bad at all looking at today's top stuff, and that scores at 41.9 points here. Nice. Now as for the skill, this is how it would score on our mid-torque ranking, maxing out our value column here in this category, because it does offer crazy value, but it's also, well, let's be honest, it's cheating. You can call this a mid-torque, but that doesn't make it one. You could call it a compact and it wouldn't be a compact. We have to draw a line in the sand somewhere, but for brushless tools, new tools, this eight inch long tool doesn't fit. Like literally, it often maybe won't fit where you're trying to use most other mid torques. I think lug nuts, yeah, for sure. But then again, most high torques will work for that as well, which is where this tool finds its peers in our opinion. A Ryobi high torque is 0.2 inches longer and it weighs less than this. And the Ingersoll Rand high torque is only 0.1 inches longer. So this is where it ranks with 376.3 points right above the flex high torque. I'd really be happy with this one paying what the bear tool or kit price goes for in my opinion. Now the flex mid torque on the other hand gets on our mid torque ranking 374.2 enough for second place overall and in our average power ranking ignoring all things like size price whatever this scores 448 foot pounds per second across a run with the stack lithium also placing it in a solid second place against these other ones using similarly powerful batteries. The six amp hour stacked pack would also bump this up to 92.2 foot pounds per inch if we included it, showing Flex more than had the design, motor, and technology to be able to make the most powerful mid torque on the planet if they so chose to make it as long as a DeWalt, but they didn't. I mean, it's still heavy. These 24 volt packs don't help it none there, but it can't fit where you expect a mid torque to. The most amount of torque per inch of a mid torque of any impact on the market by our estimation. And for a class of tool where that's why you might be picking up this instead of a high torque, that means something. It's why I'm often still picking up an M18 these days just due to size, but also why I'm going to be buying one of these flex mid torques as well. I mean, if it had sucked or just sort of been meh, we'd be happy to show you that. And it got hot, like quite hot, but never slowed down like some of their other tools sometimes do or need to. The new Flex has got to be one of, if not the all around mid torque to beat right now for someone who already owns a high torque. And the skill is sort of just sweet. For 130 bucks, this is going to do most of what you throw at it. I mean, this is pretty much no name Amazon brand impact pricing when you look at their kit price, but from a brand you've heard of with performance, that's all there. Appreciate you joining us for this one. We make episodes at least every Friday. Click subscribe if that sounds fun. Thanks for watching.